head of nuclear program Mohsen Fakhrizadeh was reportedly assassinated in Damawand, east of Iranian capital, Tehran. Mohsen Fakhrizadeh was a senior IRGC officer and led Iran's nuclear weapons project. He was an alleged professor of physics at Imam Hussein University and was the former head of Iran's physics research center. Mohsen Fakhrizadeh died in hospital after an attack in Absard in Damavand. He, with a major role in Iran nuclear program, was on the United States sanctions list. It continued this work in a series of organizations which in 2018 were led by SPND, an organization inside Iran's defense ministry, led by the same person who led Project Ahmad, Dr. Mohsen Fakhrizadeh, Netanyahu said. An IRGC commander wrote on Twitter that the regime will avenge the killing of scientists as it has in the past. Amnesty International has also called for an urgent action to stop the execution, said we were horrified to learn that the authorities have instructed the office in charge of implementing sentences to transfer Ahmad Reza Jalali to solitary confinement and implement his death sentence no later than a week from 24th of November. The medical doctor and university lecturer who had studied and taught in Sweden Italy and Belgium was arrested in April 2016 for alleged espionage charges. In a phone call to his wife, yesterday Ahmad Reza Jalali, an Iranian-Swedish professor on death row in Evan prison, told her that he had been transferred to solitary confinement and will soon be transferred to Rajai Shah prison where his death sentence is to be carried out. Islamic forces are intensifying a campaign of harassment against the Baha'i religious minority in Iran, carrying out what appears to be one of the largest orchestrated raids of Baha'is homes in the Sharia-ruled nation. Security agents raided the homes of around 50 Baha'i families last Sunday. The assault happened in different regions of Iran, including the northern cities of Tehran, Karaj and Shahriyar the northern province of Mazandaran and central province of Isfahan. The agents reportedly searched residences and seized personal documents and digital devices such as laptops, tablets and mobile phones. 15-year-old child bride was choked to death by her 20-year-old husband. The poor girl was apparently strangled from her scarf. The murderer escaped the scene and no reason for the murder reported. At least 109 pregnancies have been registered in marriages under 18 years of age, have been recorded in Markazi province, located in the southwestern Iranian capital Tehran, in the first half of this year. Since three years ago, 1,157 marriages of girls under 15 registered and from 2016 to 2019, 1,055 pregnancies under 18 were recorded, says the government officials in the province. Iranian champion wrestler Mohsen Madhani sells goods on the sidewalk in Andimeshk, a city in the southwestern province of Khuzestan, to make money for his life. In a video that has gone viral on social media, he says, an athlete and a world champion doesn't deserve to be a street vendor. <music> Hundreds of prisoners have been rioting at Urmia prison, northwestern Iran, after wardens brutally beat inmates as well as the lack of basic hygiene provisions in the face of the coronavirus. A prisoner, whose term ended 25 days ago, set himself on fire to protest his continued detention. At least 15 prisoners were hospitalized following the prison riot. A group of citizens along with workers, ranchers, retirees, teachers, employees, peasants, investors and students held protests across Iran over financial difficulties, unpaid wages, 
lost money and numerous obstacles in having access to quality education. The governor in southwestern Ivan confirmed that six students committed suicide in the region. Two died. Since the pandemic hit Iran, several students from destitute families across the country committed suicide because they didn't own a smartphone, preventing them from taking part in online classes. A young Iranian girl died by suicide in western Iran. She died due to severe injuries in hospital after setting herself on fire. She committed suicide because of family dispute. A 17-year-old girl in Salmas, northwestern Iran, died by suicide after her father brutally beat her. Jailed rights lawyer faces new charges of propaganda against national security and disturbing public opinion after she was summoned to the court on Sunday. She currently serves her imprisonment at Rajai Shah prison. Kurdish language teacher Anissa Jafari Meh was arrested by the Islamic security forces in western Iran. The agents took her to an unknown location. The Islamic regime lashes a citizen in northwestern Iran. The inhuman sentence of 90 lashes was carried out for Mehdi Khairi on vague charges of insulting judicial officials.